Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. I'm your host, Rob. This video, we're going to do our weekly review of The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 11, entitled Claimed. Okay, guys, welcome back. So uh, this this another another solid episode. Definitely, definitely can't disagree with that. I think um, they did a good job of kind of showing us a little bit more of Eugene, Abraham, and Rosita. Obviously, uh, Abraham taking kind of the forefront. Eugene having his moment, if you want to call it that, uh, with, with the rifle and really screwing that up. I mean, he really screwed his own group. But um, at the same time, uh, he was kind of under pressure. Abraham was busy duking it out with Glenn. So, um, but overall, a solid, solid episode. I like the fact that they kind of kept it between the Abraham and Glenn, that, that whole group. Obviously, Rick, uh, Michonne, and Carl. You know, that moment with Rick in the house, I got to be honest. I thought we were getting like uh, a sneak peek at the Hunters for some reason. I just got that feeling. But it just turned out to be a regular group of uh, people that basically doing the same thing they were doing. Just kind of going in there and trying to just stay low and, and, and chill out, things of that nature. You know, the funny thing is, is we got, we, we see that, and I've said this before, the group seems to be slowly congregating towards this uh, this safe haven. Now, <clears throat> based on some of the uh, sneak peeks of, of next week's episode, it looks like Daryl and Beth are definitely going to be uh, in the shit. To the, I mean, let's just be honest. It's, it does not look good for them. So we'll definitely touch upon that in a preview this week, my uh, usual weekly preview of the following episode. But... This episode, I thought it was, very again, very solid. Uh, obviously, they mentioned uh, what a lot of comic book readers, you know, they all know about this. Abraham spoke to Glenn about uh, saving the world, heading to Washington, D.C., where Eugene is supposed to, is, being a scientist, is supposed to meet up with some people who are talking about potentially something they can do to save the world. Uh, obviously, Glenn is very insistent on going to find Maggie, uh, Tara is completely devoted to uh, Glenn at this point because Glenn could have just left her to die and he didn't. So she's obviously very, um, you know, very much on his side, very much committed to helping Glenn. And that's awesome. That's great. Uh, we see the walkers coming out of the cornfield, which is a fantastic scene. Um, <laughs> it was, I thought it was going to be a lot more. I got to be honest. I thought maybe a whole swarm of them would come out, but. Nonetheless, very cool scene. Eugene obviously shoots the shoots the truck and screws it up completely. Um, you know, Rick, I got to say, considering all the stuff he's been through, I mean, I, I can only imagine what this guy's going through in his head. I mean, he's still healing. They just maybe got to that house. If you think about it theoretically, they probably still, they just got to that house maybe, what, within a week or two they've been there? And already they got to go on the road again. So Michonne, we got to see more of her story or, or at least hear about it. And I like the way they did it because, you know, you know, her and Carl have already developed a pretty close relationship and you see her opening up to him. Uh, she's obviously got a very she's got a fond place in her heart for Carl. And Carl is obviously very fond of her as well. So to see them uh, share a moment, even even a very brief moment in the kitchen when they had a laugh and. Obviously, it ended real quickly when Carl uh, made a joke about drinking Judas formula, and he realized it, and completely everything just stopped there. Um, but, you know, they, they still, they shared some very nice moments, very, very sad scene when Michonne went into the room and saw the uh, family that pretty much committed suicide, uh, you know, the two kids on the bed, I would assume there was a couple uh, on the other bed, and then the person in the chair, I'm just going to throw it out there and say that that maybe was a babysitter or a nanny of some sort or you know maybe an older sibling who knows but very very sad scene uh she obviously did not want carl to see that and um <clears throat> moved on from there so so these these group of people that were in the uh in the house that kind of in, in infiltrated you know they um <laughs> they obviously they went there to just 
to find a place to hide like anyone else. Uh, Rick being in a tough spot had to hide. Now, they killed somebody, it sounded like, earlier when they got there. Obviously, that's what woke up Rick, the guy screaming. And then the other guy comes into the bedroom, lays down. He's chilling out. Another guy calls and claims it. They get into a wrestling match. Rick pretty much watching this from the bed, you know, because the guy keeps falling to the ground. And finally, the other guy, I thought maybe he killed him. I don't know if anyone noticed. I thought maybe he got killed. But there's a chance, I, I, somebody mentioned to me that maybe he got put in a sleeper hold and he just got knocked out, which makes more sense to me. I don't know why you'd want to kill somebody from your own group over a bed. That doesn't make any sense. But some people get crazy. So the guy saw Rick. And obviously, um, because he was knocked out, he couldn't say anything. And then Rick, trying to escape, obviously, him and this guy get into a fight in the bath, bath, uh, excuse me, bathroom. And um, he kills the guy and leaves him there. Doesn't stab him in the head. So you know that he came back as a zombie. And God only knows what happened to those people. Whether or not they're going to play another role later on, ah, that remains to be seen. Now, we didn't see any Tyrese in his group. Uh, we did not see Maggie, Stucky, and Sasha. Obviously, Glenn and Tara and Rick and Michonne, those seem to be the focal point of this show. And uh, again... Michonne's story starts to kind of weed its way out little by little. Um, you see that her and Carl have a great relationship, which is awesome. And, you know, they're heading to this safe zone now. And how far behind or ahead are they of Tyrese and Carol? Uh, who knows, you know? I thought maybe Daryl and... Um, I thought maybe Daryl and Beth wouldn't be too far behind. But based on the, the previews for next week, it looks like they're not in any way positioned to get near them. We know that Glenn is way out there because Glenn, uh, from what Tara told him, the last time he had, he asked, when he woke up from unconsciousness, he asked Tara, did you see a bus on the road? She said yes. And um, he was like, when was the last time you saw it? And she said three hours ago. So they are far. They are far from where the group kind of, the group, in and of itself seems to be in the same vicinity, but man, Glenn is far, and now they're on foot. So now it's going to be interesting to see what kind of uh, trials and tribulations they're going to go through on their way back to at least the general vicinity of uh, the group. Unless they happen to be closer to Tam uh, Tamaris than anybody else, and they happen to stumble upon it first. And again, like I said, it seems to me that they're kind of slowly pointing towards that. Now, we still haven't seen any Morgan. Uh, we know we're supposed to see Morgan at some point or another, so it'll be interesting to see uh, at what point he pops up. There were rumors, whispers in the wind that somebody, some people had said that Morgan was going to be with Abraham. Obviously, we know that's not the case now. Uh, you know, Maggie, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of Maggie and Stucky and Sasha next week, along with obviously along with uh, Daryl and Beth, and probably touch upon you know, Carol and Tyrese and see how they're doing. But overall, great episode. I mean, uh, you know, Abraham obviously has a lot of fun killing zombies that seem to bother Tara a little bit. But, you know, he's a military guy, you know. And at this point, uh, for the most part, zombies, unless they're not in a large group, are really not that, you know, they're really not that threatening anymore unless they pop up on you without you knowing it if you're not being careful or if they come in swarms. Abraham being a military guy and obviously being seasoned, he knows how to deal with them. He thinks it's a joke. Uh, you know, I don't think there's anything psychotic about it. I don't think he's untrustworthy. He seems to have a good intentions, you know, and I do know more about the character, uh, but I don't want to give any, away any spoilers. And plus, we don't know how it's going to turn out. The, the show and the comic book, while they have been, this is probably the closest they've been since season one, they're not always point on, point on, so, but very good episode, I, I'm very interested to see where next week brings, because Tara and Daryl really, I mean, excuse me, Daryl and Beth look like they're really up against the wall now, I do want to see where Maggie, Stucky, and Sasha are at right now, and I want to know just how closely uh, Tyrese and Carol have progressed, you know, and I would like, I'm hoping at some point to get an idea of just how far apart these people are from each other, because it seems to me like they are not that far apart from each other. It like it's almost like they're all in the same radius, with the exception of Glenn, uh, Tara, and Abraham and his people, Eugene and Rosita. So, but very good episode. Uh, some very tense moments in the house with Rick. I really thought he was gonna get busted. I thought maybe those were those might be a, a, a sign of the hunters, but uh, you know they were not. Just a random group of guys uh, trying to find a place to stay. 
and unfortunately Rick was in the middle of it, and luckily he got away with Michonne and, and uh, Carl, and they seem to be heading to the safe zone, or rather, the sanctuary, so, but awesome, awesome, so anyway guys, that's it for this video, you can expect my uh, episode 12 preview video uh, sometime this week, probably up no later than Wednesday, and we will kind of uh, have a discussion about the, what's coming next episode, and what we've seen from the mini trailers they're showing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy.